the DOJ is reportedly um, investigating Netflix's complaint that usage um, caps on broadband or usage-based pricing is somehow anti-competitive and under the notion that there should be net neutrality. So what uh, um, essentially Netflix has done is forum shopped. They lost in Congress badly. They um, lost at the FCC, where the FCC said, you know, it's not a, um, a violation of, uh, of any, any problems to have broadband usage-based pricing. Even the Federal Trade Commission, the sister organization on antitrust to DOJ, the chairman said, you know, usage-based pricing isn't a problem. Why isn't it a problem? Because it's basic economics. If you're using something and you use more of it and you're causing costs, then you have to pay more. I mean, you go through virtually every industry we look at, it's just basic economics 101. And somehow Netflix, because it doesn't like the way it um, affects them, is now wants to have a full antitrust investigation. It's absurd and it is an abuse of the process. Now the DOJ needs to investigate complaints, but when they investigate this one, I think they're gonna find that cable broadband usage pricing is an economically sensible and reasonable approach in a competitive marketplace to um, compete. And what you have to realize here is in the United States, you know, they're not gonna be able to prove that, uh, um, you know, that there is uh, you know, um, a serious dominance or, an or anti-competitive power here in the sense that the United States is the only nation in the world that has two national wireline infrastructures, the telephone network and the cable network, and we have more wireless broadband facilities competitively than any nation in the world. We have four. This is a hyper-competitive industry where you also have lots of players that want to create a fifth and a sixth and potentially a seventh wireless broadband network. So in the United States, we do not have a competition problem. It is a competitive free-for-all. This is the most competition we have ever seen in a communications market in history anywhere in the world. And the net neutrality people and, and the pro-regulation forces basically want to go, we don't see any of it because we don't want to see it. They refuse to see reality because what they want is they want a monopoly so they can regulate it and turn it into basically a public utility or an information commons. So um, they, at every turn, Every time anything happens that's pro-competitive, they'll find an anti-competitive slogan to put to it and try and run it down. But we have something magical and fantastic going on here. We in the United States embrace the free market, embrace competition among 10 multi-billion dollar uh, um, facilities. I mean, this is a lot of money people are investing. They will invest it. Risk capital will come into this market if the government just gets out of the way.